we um, need to focus our efforts on securing, securing our critical digital infrastructure. Uh, there's a lot of debate at the moment around uh, the future of our 5G networks. This is going to be absolutely essential digital plumbing for our lives, not just for uh, communications, uh, but for the economy and indeed uh, society. So we need to get it right. Uh, and when it's this important, it's not just the quality of the plumbing, it's not just the pipes that matter, it's also the credentials of the plumber. So uh, we are going to have to have a look at the risk profile of individual 5G equipment suppliers even more thoroughly than we have done in the past, not only in the terms of the overall quality of their products and services, uh, but also um, at the context in which they work. Is there uh, a risk associated with, for example, uh, interference from a, a third country? Uh, the member states have come together to work on these issues because they've recognised that it is a shared challenge. And a few weeks ago, uh, we produced uh, a report on uh, the coordinated EU risk assessment on cybersecurity and 5G networks. The next step on that is to produce, by the end of this year, again together with all of the member states, uh, a set of measures that could be taken nationally or collectively, to manage and mitigate some of those cybersecurity risks.